Hi guys and welcome to Paint with Mark. I thought today's video lesson um, I'll show you how to apply black gesso. Now when I usually do my pictures for practice um, I just sort of lay them on the canvas and when I finish I will get a scraper and just one of these knives and I will just scrape off all the excess paint and then I'll wipe it with some baby wet wipes all over the canvas just to get most of the paint off. Again, obviously if you've got a finished picture that you like, you know, you can either sell it, give it to friends or donate it. But I'm just going to use this and then I'm going to apply black gesso and then once the black gesso is dried, um, and then I can use that for another picture. So the products we're going to use today is, this just happens to be a, a Bob Ross black gesso, um, but you can pick up gesso from any reputable art stores. Um, I'm going to use a little paper plate and a little sponge applicator. Now the sponge applicators, um, I bought in a, a big bag of foam applicators um, and they're really really cheap from a, a kids store. So that said all you need to do is get some black gesso and put a small amount into your paper plate like so and I'm going to get my applicator I mean sometimes you can just drip, dip it into a little bit of water just to start it off if it's a bit thick but it does dry very quick so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go backwards and forwards over the entire canvas again you can if it's not coated enough the first time that you do it you can of course go back over it again but I just do strokes, backwards and forwards strokes get it on fairly quick again because it does dry very quick but you can see that this is a very very good way of being able to use your canvases again because you know when you first start um, you know, well, even even myself, you're never really happy with the pictures you produce. So again, you just scrape off the excess. If you're doing like oil painting, uh, scrape off the excess. Wipe it with a, a baby wet wipes or wet wipe towels. But let that dry thoroughly before you go over with this black gesso. So as you can see, I'm coming in. You can see that this is really drying very quick. I mean. Obviously in the studio here I've got a lot of lights and it's quite a lot of heat so this is probably going to dry a lot quicker here than what it would if you was doing it in your home, in your garage or somewhere like that. So I'll come right up to the edges, there we go, so I've got a nice coat on the now and then all I do is go back into it and then I'm going to just go across all in one direction just to make sure that it's nice and evenly coated. Now obviously for me I can't see so well because I'm always painting sideways on so you can see the picture that I'm painting normally you know if you was doing it you would be head on like this and you could see exactly more of what you was doing but for the benefits of the videos I always paint sideways on and demonstrate sideways on just so you can see exactly what I'm doing so that said is now I've got a nice even coat of black gesso on the canvas and what I would do I'd let that dry for five ten minutes again you could use a hairdryer and just hair dry which we do in, in a lot of our classes because um, I do actually demonstrate and I like to let the students put their own black gesso or gessos on and what we do in our classes um, we put this on and then we share a hairdryer and then we go around and hairdryer which obviously 
speeds up the process, it means we could carry on with the picture that we're going to paint. Um, so again, all I've done, I've got a canvas, I've got my black gesso, I've gone over it, I mean this is this is drying really quick anyway, but I'm going to let that dry a bit more, I'm not going to wait, we're not going to wait for the video and do it, but all I would do then would go over it with another even coat of black gesso, let it dry, and it's ready to paint. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have and you want to see more of these videos, if you subscribe below and like, I'd really appreciate it. So that's Mark Terrell with Paint with Mark. Thank you.